With the release of his new studio album, We Are Chaos, we can assume Marilyn Manson has been busy writing tunes during the global pandemic. I'm a huge fan of his, but even I find that Where He Calls Home has always been somewhat of a mystery. Dubbed the Vampire of the Hollywood Hills by Rolling Stone before, Mr. Manson has mostly lived in LA over the years. But is his home as creepy as you'd assume? Well, he did move into a haunted house before 2015. We'll take a look at where Marilyn Manson has called home over the years, and after some serious digging, we even found some of the listings. Ryan Warner, known to us all as Marilyn Manson, is a singer, songwriter, record producer, actor, and more who is infamous for his controversial stage personality and image. Despite his reputation in the 90s painting him as a negative influence on young people, he's had a handful of albums reach platinum and found a ton of success. To this day, Mr. Manson is still touring and releasing new music. His latest album, titled We Are Chaos, just came out, so it seems he's been keeping busy. You'd think with his long running career, the man would have a larger net worth, but it currently sits at an estimate. To 10 million dollars. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where the controversial man of metal Marilyn Manson calls home, like his previous Hollywood Hills house, where he's currently living in LA, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen and Joe Rogan, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram, chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Recently, one of Marilyn Manson's previous homes was up on the market once again. And while you may expect the shock rocker to have a gothic dungeon filled estate, the home looks pretty family friendly. The three story walled and gated estate was built back in 1925 and situated on three separate lots right in the Hollywood Hills. Manson lived here from the late 1990s until 2004. From the looks of listing photos, the home hasn't been redone in a while and would take some serious refurbishing. Even from exterior shots, the mansion is looking a little weathered, so that could be one reason it's valued at around only 1.6 mil currently. The Mediterranean style home is being sold as is according to listing materials, but it's still apparently one of the most unique properties in the history of the Hollywood Hills. The mansion is unassuming from one street entrance and the property goes down to one of the roads with a gated parking area below. Not only does Manson living here give the place some Hollywood history, Marshall Chess, who co-founded the Rolling Stones record label in the early 70s, and is the son of legendary co-founder of Chess Records, also lived here. Considering Marshall also spoke about living a crazy rock and roll lifestyle coupled with Manson's infamous reputation, one can only assume this house has seen its fair share of debauchery over the years. Listing materials talk about features of the estate such as romantic spiral staircases, grand living room original touches, decks on every level, and mystery around every corner. Sounds about right. The home spans over 3,000 square feet or so with four beds and five baths. There are a few fireplaces throughout and even a stained glass window. Although looking at the kitchen and many of the rooms, the house is in need of a full restoration. I would definitely keep a lot of those classic and vintage parts of the home intact if I bought it. Personally, I really like the vibe of the place. Not to mention, the multi-lot estate has a separate two-story guest house with walls of windows overlooking a fern grotto, koi pond, and naturally fed stream. Also on the property, you'll find a crystal blue pool, trails, and more. Although the home may be better suited as a fixer-upper project, I'd say it's not a bad deal for like 1.6 million. In March 2003, while still owning the Hollywood home, a record show Manson purchased a house in the suburban area of Chatsworth. It costs about 1.2 million. Chatsworth is over 30 miles from the glitz and glamour that is Hollywood and has has long been considered the unofficial capital of the adult film industry. Manson said he left the white hot center of LA for the quiet suburb in the aftermath of the chilling Columbine school shooting. The singer took a lot of heat for this tragedy, being accused of influencing the shooters with his music. Anyways, it seems Mr. Manson took a break in Chatsworth for a few years before putting the house back up on the market in 2007. From old photos, we can see that Manson had the house looking a bit lackluster while he lived there. Back in 2007, listing information said the property was entirely rebuilt since it was originally constructed in 1938, but looking at the 80s style kitchen from then, it probably wasn't recent. However, the home has since been on the market again and actually looks like a whole new mansion since Manson lived there. Basic facts about his previous 
previous Chatsworth house include 4,484 square feet inside, 4 beds, and 4.5 baths. The home sits on half an acre of totally private grounds, and the one level floor plan includes an oversized family room, separate office slash library, home movie theater, and more. When Manson occupied this place, we can see that he installed a recording studio, which was likely very convenient for him. However, the purple carpeting he laid down would definitely not fly these days, and it definitely isn't there anymore. He also had some black sheets on some of the windows because you know they like to say the man sleeps during the day. Hardwood floors cover most of the interior and the rear grounds of the home boast a pool, covered cabana, and rolling lawns with gorgeous views. Manson put this place up on the market for about 1.1 million, which was actually less than he bought it for. These days, after a thorough transformation of the property, the place is valued at just under 1.4 million. Although it looks like a totally different house, the listing materials prove it's the same and also describe it as a secluded, formerly celebrity-owned estate. From the updated listing, we can also see that Manson's former abode now has a luxury master suite with huge his and hers walk-in closets, and other features like custom fireplaces, marble counters, and full sound systems throughout the place. There's also a basement with air-conditioned 500 bottle wine cellar. So although there's a little mystery as to where Manson is currently living, according to some aerial views and celebrity maps, this seems to be the spot. Since his Chatsworth home, he's jumped around a bit, but around 2013 this house was purchased, and it appears that Manson lives here. He's back in Hollywood, surprise surprise. And according to the listing, this Hollywood Manor, Spanish style home, is worth about 1.8 mil. We can see in listing photos the red stairs outside, just like the map views of Manson's home shows. Inside his home stands 2,711 square feet of space with two beds and three baths. There are romantic 20 foot beam ceilings in the massive great room, which opens up to a lush front patio garden through dramatic glass doors. The second story of the home has a wide, full length open hallway and balcony that can function as an office or sitting area overlooking the living room. There are two separate master suites with original tile bathrooms, vanities, and walk in closets. Not to mention a bright sunlit kitchen with stainless steel appliances, formal dining room, and breakfast nooks. Since moving in, Manson may have made the place a little darker though. According to a 2015 interview with Rolling Stone, they called him the vampire of the Hollywood Hills and said he does keep the home pretty dark. Not to mention, he has decorations like a pistol and rifle on a coffee table, a prized clown painting done by rapist and serial killer John Wayne Gacy, and some other weird stuff. Manson's Hollywood Hills Villa also has a separate bonus bedroom and bath with private terrace and a large storage room. The home is situated on two parcels of land with private fenced-in gardens and gorgeous views of the canyon hillside. His vintage chic Hollywood home also may be haunted, and I'm not surprised the rocker would go for a place like that. It was reported that before Manson's album the Pale Emperor, he bought a haunted home to write the record in. Considering the current Hollywood spot was sold just before that, it makes sense that it's the same place. He's also neighbors with his good friend Johnny Depp here. Apparently, the home was owned by a silent film actress from the 1920s, and the property is at least 19th century. Manson told Revolver magazine, I needed a place that didn't have any distractions, so I bought a house that was next to one of Johnny Depp's houses. I bought it the day before I started work on The Pale Emperor. It's haunted, doors slam behind me a lot, and I'm always hearing people walking up and down the stairs. Well there you have it folks, of course there had to be something spooky about at least one of Manson's houses. So now we've looked at the homes of Marilyn Manson from his previous Hollywood home, his suburban place in Chatsworth, and his current haunted villa. After seeing his places, which was your fate? Personally I like the first one even though it apparently needs a remodel, and the current home as well. To me they're kinda similar. Anyways be sure to let me know down in the comments as well as whose house tour should be up next. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat, be sure to like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.